Welcome to the program. Are you Silly Connolly? Okay, the very fellow. Anyway, I think it's time to get a bit of music going here today. Here's a wee song that's quite windswept and interesting. Where do you ever run a crowded bus or doctor's waiting room With the temperature from body heat that made you want to swoon When a gaseous intrusion permeates the air It's a noxious smelling odour from someone's dirty air that wasn't very bright The night from someone's backside Gave us all a fright Ah, Jesus, who farted The sting of trauma height The smelly little bastard Must be full of shite Woo! Where are you ever in a shopping mall Or supermarket aisle Browsing round a fashion shop Admiring the style When someone dropped a hammer And fled before you knew Then other people came along And thought that it was you who farted? That wasn't very bright. The lights of someone's backside gave us all a fright. Silly Connolly Show. Cockleaky, you say? Hmm. I've always thought that was another name for incontinence. If people ever mock me, I tell them, go to hell! If others try to knock me, I fob them off as well, for I have this disposition that allows my fear to pass. And if some folks do not like it, they can kindly kiss my arse, cause I'm a man of testicular fortitude. I hold my head high in the air, I've got great big testicular fortitude, so much I've got some to spare.
This is a very beautiful song. And I want a wee bit of respect. This song is about my granny. <laughs> you know my granny, oh, come on. She, she couldn't be any worse than your mother. <laughs> I got into a taxi one night, I told the taxi driver, take me somewhere where I can have a good time. He brought me to your house. <laughs> Don't slag off my granny. I won't beat the shit out of you, she will. <laughs> She's got a black belt and karma sutra. <laughs> She'll come around and shag you to death, eh? <laughs> hey, here we go. Christ, well, did you hear that for a mouthful? Did your mother ever tell you never to drink in an empty fucking head? But listen. Don't worry about it. I remember the very first time I drank alcohol as well. And I'll wear it off, don't you? Man, it's on the orphanage. Jesus Christ, a, a guy with two brain cells actually managed to put a whole sentence together. <laughs> no. Don't tell me how to do my job. Do I come into your rehab class and show you how to fucking finger paint? No! <laughs> Now, on upstage, there's absolutely nothing to stop performers combining forces if they think it's going to get them more support. Get off me. We're not on you, Scott, don't worry. But it can lead to some rather unusual double acts, acts like, like contortionist Chris Cross, Cross and tribute Chris comedian Chris Silly Connolly. Uh, welcome back to upstage. Sorry about that. Hello. Yeah, welcome back to upstage. Chris Scott Miles. Yeah. I love your breakfast show, it's wonderful. Okay, so one more trick, one more trick. We're gonna, gonna need, trick. We're gonna need Scott Miles to help us out in this. Do you wanna see him help? Yeah. You wanna see him help? And you wanna see him help? Say yeah. yeah. Come on, Scott, you can do it. And you wanna see me get hurt? Say yeah. Yeah! yeah. How did you meet? I, well, we met in the, in the Blue Oyster in Soho. It's a gay bar. I dropped the fiver and bent down to pick it up. <laughs> and I just bumped in the back of him. <laughs> it's been a pain in the Beautiful. arse ever since, you know. <laughs> Silly Connolly's my name. Silly Connolly. The very fellow, sir. Tickety-boo, eh? 